Hey, what's guys? Camp from Russia here. Welcome back, everybody, to another Fortnite video. Today, we talk about skill-based matchmaking. There's been a lot of changes in the new chapter. How does skill-based matchmaking work in pubs? We'll get to it. We're also talking all new leaks, new weapons coming to the game. And importantly, what are our next few weeks going to look like update-wise? We actually have an update already next week. 19.01 uh, has been added to the staging servers and should release next week. They just replaced the 19.1 staging with it, so the 19.01. 1901 update is still coming now. Now, FN Assist says 19.1 will likely be a week after it. I'm not sure on that. We can basically confirm next week is the update when they put it on staging. It means it's coming out right away. So, yeah, 14th, I assume, is 001. And then it gets, you know, debatable. I assume they're going to launch Winterfest stuff next week's update. And then after that, I'm thinking there's that's, that's going to be their two-week update. Uh, holiday break, right? Two weeks off for the Epic team, and then another week when they get back to get situated, and that's when our point one update comes. So, yeah, uh, expect a lot of content in the next week or two, and then some spaced out stuff over the holidays. We'll be pushing content out like crazy, keeping you updated on all the, the, the stuff, the chaos happening, and then I'll probably take a little bit of a break with the Epic team over the holidays. So it works out well. Let's talk news. Epic is working on a dual hand cannons weapon coming soon we don't really know when i think that could be tons of fun that could do some big damage of course and uh could could be a nice secondary with your shotgun i guess your smg now depending what you prefer shotgun smg based on the audio files for the upcoming pizza box and pizza slice item uh, here's some extra info, audio. When you equip the box, it will play a small one-second Italian equip audio file. You can throw pizza slices out of the box. Once all slices are thrown, the box will explode. Yeah, so apparently there's going to be some pizza, pizza box item that you can do damage with. <laughs> I don't know how this is going to work, but that, uh, yeah, another classic... Fortnite item, right? Something so weird you, you can't even think of it yourself and then once it it pops up You, you still don't get it. It's got it's got to be in game Then we'll understand how, how this weird crazy item works a reminder Donald mustard chief creative officer of epic games will take the stage as a presenter tomorrow game awards uh, December 9th we're expecting a big update a uh, big announcement either the matrix collab or creative 2.0 modding uh, maybe the block as well has been rumored I'll of course update you once we know. The issue where players may find they experience the screen shaking more intensely than intended in various situations such as sliding, gliding, or using a rift will be fixed in the next game update. That major bug will be fixed. Uh, a reminder, or they've talked about this, if you're using the med mist, um, let it fully complete, all right? There's a glitch right now. If you're spraying yourself, spraying your teammate, and you switch off to another item before it completes, uh, you, you could have a, a glitch that doesn't allow you to do any actions for the rest of the game. They're fixing that shortly if it isn't fixed already, but just to be safe, that, that, those are uh, uh, a, a couple major bugs that they've addressed. There will most likely be four different types of dinosaurs coming to the game. As the files mentioned, four different butter cake variants, and that's the code name, of course, for the dinosaurs, for the beasts. We've shown off the one. My brain instantly goes to chapter one, season five, to these dinosaurs. Are, we, are, we, are they going to reuse any of these, these statues from way back when in our old desert biome? I don't know. That's just a random thought. But yeah, expect four of them uh, by week. I think we said week seven, right? It, it is when uh, the latest we should expect them. Uh, they are currently frozen right near Tilted Towers. Uh, tornado tornadoes and flare guns will both be added to the game in week six or shortly before uh, week six challenges go live. That's pro that one and then the blimp. We've talked about the Zeppelin. That's going to be a drivable vehicle coming soon. Those are the two updates right now I am most excited for. The weather. Uh, I had Tilted Towers as well. So there, there's a lot, man. There's a lot this first season that I'm looking forward to. This makes sense now from a previous tweet. Hypex talked about this July 7th. Seems like Epic R were working on an electricity element in game. This electricity element is set to only affect metal objects and builds. I'll let you know if I find anything else out about it, right? This was back in the summertime and now we find out it's for the lightning weather. And I think lightning is going to launch same day as the tornado, like all the, the, the weather update. I hope that's the case. Again, very excited for that one. So, 
All in all, here's kind of a summary of most of the things we know so far. Uh, things mentioned in Chapter 3, Season 1, Weekly Challenges that are not out yet. So this is all Season 1. Tilted Towers, IO Force Enemies, Butterberries, Butter Cake, that's the dinosaurs, Butter Cake's Blowhole, Flare Gun, Grenade Launcher, which has now been nerfed. Check out my previous video. Pizza Slice Item, Tornadoes, and a Drill Scanner. Lots to look forward to. Make sure you subscribe with Nodies on. I'm your guy. I keep you up to date on all things Fortnite. You just got to get here. All right, I'll do the rest. Yesterday, we also talked about mythic versions of the striker pump shotgun and the auto shotgun in the files ready to go but I, I forgot to mention that basically all weapons have a mythic ready to go uh, the pistol the ranger ar the sniper rifle and then we've already got the mythic right if you take down the foundation which which we actually did i did that in yesterday's session uh holy that thing hurts <laughs> uh i did yeah that thing does some major damage you can shred some of them i've also been shredded by it right the the mk7 uh mythic that thing is so op how uh how is everything going what do you what are you guys thinking so far day four now we're on are you getting used to the sliding we're going to talk about sliding mechanic stuff in the next video because uh yeah there's lots to know i learned so much today that's just going to help me be a better player and, and the sliding has a lot to do with it let me know what your thoughts are on just everything so far what's been your favorite part of the season here's a look at which totem symbol in the sanctuary poi one of my favorites uh belongs to which member of the seven They've got all members listed here. The, the new ones, remember, are codenamed Sister, codenamed Sister 2. Those aren't going to be their real names, but those are the sisters. And then the, the origin. Uh, that's uh, the, the starting one, right? There's a small rumor that Donald Mustard is the origin, right? He's, he's the actor behind it. I can't wait to figure more out about that. Speaking of the seven, here are all three currently known variants for the foundation, right? Our secret, secret skin in the battle pass. There's the normal combat and unmasked. I showed you those in order. Yeah, that combat suit is so cool. Just kind of the, the gray blacked out version. I love that, man. That's going to be, yeah, the, the secret skin. That's going to be an exciting time when, when that drops uh, midway through. So uh, talking XP, first, to go from level 1 to 100, you'll need a total of 7.3 million XP. To go from level 100 to 200, you'll need a total of 7.5 million XP. Moral of the story, it's no longer easier to level up after hitting level 100, okay? The, the progression just continues. It's basically 75,000 uh, per, per level, XP per level after level 6, okay? And that, it's just linear from there, so a lot easier to understand. Now, there has been XP glitches going around. They have, uh, because the new Accolade device allows uh, map creators to give, it, give out XP uh, for, for playing on their map, right? So, of course, there's going to be glitches that come with that. Uh, unlimited XP bugs. So, for now, they've temporarily set a cap on the amount of XP a player can acquire from the Accolade device while playing creative. Epic is currently working on a Clips feature you'll be able to record clips of your gameplay and upload these clips afterwards this will be built in uh to the epic online services uh app which is which is sweet so you'll able to be able to do it yourself basically uh instead of having to use a third third party recording software like i do mary jane from spider-man will be coming to the game very soon there's currently an unfinished npc called mary jane mentioned in the game files it's going to spawn at the daily bugle poi of course awesome poi another great one the webs make for such a uh, an interesting uh, environment to fight around. So expect that. Mary Jane will be one of the many Spider-Man cosmetics coming to the game this season. The final thing is our skill-based matchmaking discussion and how it works. So it has changed. Here is a, a summary, a photo, Ultra, Ultra L2 on, on Twitter. So basically, there are roughly five tiers, five different levels that you can be a part of. The highest skill is, is 20 AI, 20 bots. That's mostly going to be your PC players. Uh, the lowest skill will give you 75 bots in a game, and that's mostly Switch players. However, there are things that you can control or, or, or how, what it's based on. If you are new slash do not build and get low kills, you will remain in those lower levels get high limbs place more builds win you'll be pushed out pretty quickly 20 ai lobbies is a free-for-all nothing is counted besides what platform you play so what basically the lower levels 
it, when, when you're low to medium, that's where it's going to be split up. But as soon as you get to the 20 bots, the 20 AI, that's the highest level you can get to. It's a free for all from there. So it's skill based matchmaking to a point. So once you're past that point, it's really going to be random. The other important thing to note here is skill based matchmaking in team modes depends on who is in your party. It doesn't matter who's leading, it doesn't matter who the highest skill guy is. It takes an average of your entire team. So he's got examples right at the bottom. Two good players, of course you're gonna be in the highest level, 20 bots. One good, one bad, okay, you're in one of those medium tiers, 30 bots. And you can see some PC, some PlayStation, some Xbox. And then this other one is a one bad and a one bad slash mid, so like a tier five, tier four. Uh, it's sticking you with 74 bots. So conclusion, it looks at the amount of builds you place, which I didn't know that that counted. I wonder how much that matters. It looks at your kills, it looks at your wins, but once you get past that beginning level it's basically a free-for-all anyways let me know if you have any questions thanks for watching take care talk soon goodbye